Today, the Father says that if you endure suffering beside me, then you will also reign alongside me. God encourages us to not throw away our sorrow. Never go through adversity by yourself. Never give in to the falsehood that your adversary tells you and allow it to make you feel alone or abandoned. Because I have come to your aid, you are not left to fend for yourself. The prints of my nails on my hands are begging to be released. Even with the agony and distress that is doing havoc on your body at this very moment, the stripes on my back are beginning to register. Suffering with me is a proposition of faith in which you take your eyes off of yourself and offer even your human suffering up in my name as an intercession for those with whom you are surrounding yourself, including your friends, loved ones, and yes, even your adversaries. When this is your posture, then love, my love in you, will combine with your faith, and you will immediately move from merely having authority to being authorized to walk in the earth as a God-man or a God-woman among mankind. This will happen as soon as you combine your faith with love. They will see you and understand that you have been with me and that I am with you, walking in you to carry out my purpose on earth. They will take this knowledge with them. In the words of the Father, what I am saying to you is that the pain that you have experienced in your life has been preparation for what I have called you to accomplish in the service of the kingdom. I am going to start altering your ideas and even the way in which you perceive my speech at this very moment. On the surface, things are going to be different, yet they are going to be familiar in the sense that my quiet, small voice, which you have always heard, is going to be unmistakable. During the storm, when the disciples saw me walking on the water, they thought it was a ghost, a demon, or something wicked. This was due to the fact that I was coming to them in a manner and a shape that they did not anticipate or anticipate. After that, they were terrified of the very rescue that I was about to deliver to them. It is important to remember that you should never mistake my appearing to you in a new method as being of a demonic nature simply because it does not match your paradigm or the religious training that you were raised with. You have to be willing to hear a new sound, to see a new vision, and to respond to me in ways that I have never made known to you in the past if you want to have something that you have never had before. Are you prepared to move on from your experience in the past and into the new future that I have planned for you? Take a deep breath, and then we will go. There is a message from the Father that says, I am getting ready to open your eyes. I am going to redo the synapses in your brain in order to get you ready for a new revelation of who I am and what I am doing in your life. The scales are about to fall off, and I am going to do this. You need not be startled or concerned about the tentativeness of spirit that is registering in your inner man because there is a work and a moving of my spirit going on inside of you to prepare you for what I am doing around you and where I am bringing you. Do not be alarmed or concerned about this in any way. Breathe deeply and try to relax. I encourage you to take a deep breath and lean back onto the rest, which is where I bring the tired to rest. All you need to do is roll over onto your back in the river of my spirit and allow the currents of my kingdom to carry you wherever they will. If you remove your hand from the steering wheel and stop attempting to exert control over the situation based on your limited comprehension, you will not be let down, and you will not be dismayed in the end. Simply put your faith in the fact that I am capable of it. Right now, I am getting set to blow your mind. My majesty and purpose, which are being released onto you at this very moment, will cause you to gasp and even to be overwhelmed with the extent of what I am bringing about, even though you believed that all was stagnation and a decline. You did not believe that I was not paying attention to the efforts that you were making, did you? I can see that you have put in a lot of effort. I can see that the determination that you possessed was so strong that you refused to give up even when you had exhausted all of your resources and every ounce of strength you possessed. God replies, I have seen that you have kept your eyes on me, 
even when the losses were great and the suffering you experienced was brutal. I know that I have come to your rescue because I have seen that you always kept your eyes on me. There will be an end to the attacks that the adversary has been using against you. In this very moment, the oppression that you are experiencing during the night and the unbearable tension that you are experiencing within your inner man are being alleviated by the comfort that is being provided by the Comforter, my Holy Spirit, who has now come to lift you up, remove your feet from the mire and set you on the rock that I am so that you may move forward with joy and be continually renewed and refreshed by my goodness each and every day. Simply because you have experienced a setback, the Father encourages you to resist the urge to give in to feelings of discouragement or mourning. When you are in collaboration with me, every obstacle experienced in the natural world serves as a preparation for more favorable outcomes in the spirit. Because you have come to the realization that you have made a mistake, you have the feeling that you have been in the wrong place at the wrong moment, and you have blamed yourself for this. Make some adjustments to the way you think about such things today, since I am not intimidated by the fact that you are capable of failing. Chaos is the starting point for me to bring forth order, and order in my reign comes before glory. I am the God who has never planted anything in a row. It is true that you have committed an error, nevertheless, in my sovereignty, I even cause your errors to bring you success that is above your wildest dreams. The Father encourages you to find peace. Take some time to relax and focus on managing the affairs of my kingdom. When you put the kingdom and my righteousness at the forefront of your priorities, you will find that whatever you seek will be added to, multiplied by, and increase to an extraordinary degree. Have faith in me. Proceed with your onward movement. Continually follow the path that I have laid out for you. Despite the fact that the old wineskin is shattered and unable to contain what I am pouring forth upon you, you must persevere into this new way. Take pleasure and be glad in the changes that I am bringing about. You should not be fearful of change, and you should not reject change. You should tell yourself that change is not something that is dangerous, change is something that is helpful because I am the God who does not change. However, I require you to be willing to live in a perpetual state of change that is rooted entirely in me because I will never fail you. The Father says, I am calling on you to make a commitment to what I am bringing about in your life during this season. He is asking you to make a commitment with a blank check. You have inquired, you have hypothesized, and you have pleaded with me, and I have heard you very well at this point. I now present my response in its whole, without any reservations whatsoever. I am an on-time God and I am an all-or-nothing God, so make up your mind that you will this day renew and redouble your commitment to be an all-or-nothing follower who will go before me in the path I've stipulated asking nothing beforehand just trusting that where I'm taking you and what I am doing will turn out for your benefit as you abandon yourself to total service, total yielding, and complete surrender to the dictates and demands of the kingdom on your plans. Certainly, there has been suffering. Your heart is hurting, and I can see it. Your losses have not gone forgotten, and despite the fact that you could never dream of a way to get better or receive compensation, I want you to remember yourself, even on a daily basis, that there is nothing that I cannot handle. I hear and I see, and I take swift action to deliver, heal, and set you free from the terrible emotional loads that have ensnared you over the course of these many months. God tells us not to be hopeful. You shouldn't give up hope. You have been enticed by the adversary of your soul and he has persistently set a gulf of darkness, shame, and sorrow in front of you. However, I say to you today that this is not your part. Your path leads to happiness. You are being guided by my tranquility. I am breaking through the walls of confinement that have denied and mocked you in your pain. My power is breaking through these boundaries. 
A new day has begun. Your God says, I have told you, and you will taste and see as you lean upon me with all your heart and all your understanding as we walk this out moment by moment, hour by hour, and day by day. I have told you this, and you will witness it before your very eyes. In today's message, the Father says, My thoughts toward you are wandering the earth in search of opportunities and occasions that will allow your faith to bring you the fulfillment of your deepest heart's desire and your largest dream. I am aware of the fact that I have made your heart hurt for precisely the reason that I intended to give it to you in the first place. Not only do I provide you with the needs that you might have at any given moment, but I also provide you with the wants that you have. Did I not state that as part of my word? The pain and the yearning that you feel in your heart are the prophecy that governs your life. Despite the fact that it does not always take the shape or manner that you believe it should, it does take place in full measure. I will not exclude you from this discussion. It is not true that I am a no God. I am not a no God, but rather I am a yes God just as I stated in my word. It is not what you have always been taught, but the clear testimony of my word is that all of my promises are yes and amen. Who are you going to believe, the religious ideas of the counsels of the uneducated, or the clear witness of my word? Says God, this is a brand new day. I have told you, told you, and told you some more, and now look at it this way. The day star of who I am has emerged in your heart. Are you willing to pursue the black stars of disappointments from the past? On the other hand, are you going to have faith in the positive report, go against the odds, and have faith that I will make my highest and finest purpose become yours, even on this very day? I am a God who is loving. I am the God who rescues you from all of your problems. Do not be afraid. Although it is true that you have been in danger and that your future has been in jeopardy, what does that mean to me? It is as if it were nothing. In the grand scheme of things, it is comparable to the minute dust that is on the scales, which weighs absolutely nothing at all. The Father encourages you to have a joyful heart. Emancipate yourself from the erroneous burden of fear and insecurity. My love for you has been and will continue to be unconditional. I have already blessed you, and I will further benefit you in the future. We are not yet at the conclusion. Not to rob you in any way, but it is true that certain things have come to an end, and it is also true that other things are on their way to coming to an end. In order to make room in your life for the most incredible blessing you have ever experienced, I am trying to clear the way. If you are going to model yourself after someone or anything, there is no reason why you should not put me at the top of that list, says the Father today. I have not asked you to conform to the norms that are traditionally associated with men or with popular culture. I have not referred to you as a slave to the contemporary idolatries that are associated with the cult of celebrity. Irrespective of how much they ramble on, the talking heads are devoid of any vitality. The individuals who are currently in the spotlight have opinions about themselves as well as about you that do not correspond to what I have in store for you or the path that I intend to take you. Do all in your power to view yourself in the same way that I do. You must make up your mind to listen to solely my sound, for the sound that I emanate from the soil is a sound of freedom, not of servitude. Even in the culture of my people, there are things that are loaded with feelings that only tend to make things heavier and cause a lower level of inner barriers to be lowered. I have called you to life, power, and liberty, and not any inferior estate among men. Therefore, be careful how you hear and be careful what you hear, because I have called you to these things. I have called you to be a disciple of God, which means that you are a follower of me, you are an imitator of who I am in this circumstance. I have said this in my word. What exactly does that say? 
Therefore, in every event and situation, you should make up your mind to act in the same manner that I would if I were in your situation, since I am in your situation. I am in you, and because of this, there is no failure in you. You are the undefeated, and there is no defeat in you because I am undefeated in you. This is not about obtaining everything you desire or giving in to the impulses of the carnal mind, which are not purified. It is about adopting my thinking and my heart as well as my way, truth, and life as the default framework in which you respond to every circumstance with joyful abandon, knowing that you will always land on your feet and accomplish everything that I have meant for you to do. You are the child that I have. You are not any less my kid than the one and only begotten, who paid the price to call you brother and sister. You are my child in every way. Make sure that your faith and your expectations are up to this standard. Lean into your identity in me, and you will never be left on the sidelines of life or in any way defeated. This is because I am your identity. According to what the Father has revealed to us today, the battle that is taking place in the skies is taking place over your life today, but the outcome is certain. Both deception and theft have been committed by the adversary. The adversary has taken a life, but are you aware that he does not have the final say in situations like this? It is clear to me that the hope that has been drained from your heart has been replaced by fear because you do not believe that you are capable of taking much more. Recall the words that I spoke to my disciples, do not be afraid, but believe only. We are now at the water walking phase. You are not going to drown. You will not end up being a waste of time. In the midst of the eddies and currents of life, you will not be abandoned without any hope or without any particular path to follow. I am with you. Talk to me about it. When you are aware that I am listening, talk to me. When you feel as though I am a million miles away, be sure to talk to me. When you are at a loss for words, have a conversation with me. Even if you are afraid to say what's on your mind, talk to me. I am more concerned with relationships than I am with respect, so I want you to be honest with me about everything. I want you to be honest with me. Not only are you gaining, but you are not losing. Despite the fact that you allow your body to be scorched. Despite the fact that you sustain the loss of everything. Despite the fact that you are alone yourself and that no other man is joining you, I am here. This is where I am, and I am working. You shouldn't count on other individuals to be your source. The solutions to your problems are not found in other people, and people are not the solution to your problems. The fact of the matter is that people come and go, and even the most intimate of relationships can disintegrate in an instant, never to be reconstructed again. On the other hand, here I am, here I am ever faithful, and you may count on me in that regard. God tells you that there is a shaking, and you believe that you have experienced the worst of it, and in some respects, you have. To what extent are you willing to continue walking and to continue believing? I understand that not everyone will agree with what I intend to accomplish in and through you, but that is okay. Because I have invested both my love and my power in you, I have made it clear that you will never fail to accomplish anything. Today, the Father says, I see the desperation that is in your heart, trust me for a positive outcome. What are those things that you are unable to alter and that you cannot make any changes to? I hold them firmly in my hands and I have complete authority over them. You have acknowledged me as your Lord and Savior. Not only should you place your faith in my Lordship over your heart and spirit, but you should also put it in your life. The immovable is being moved by me. I am bringing about change in the absolute. I have a job, and I am eager to help out. In no way am I unwilling. Although the adversary has informed you that I will not, 
You should be aware that I am not a god who will not. You are able to put your faith in me, but I am not going to do it on your terms or according to your schedule. Now is the day for you. The time has come for you. With the timing of my favor being poured out in huge measure in a moment of time just when it is needed the most, the hands of the clock are seeking you. According to God, there is a portion of it that is unknown. In the event that you do not own all of the answers, the adversary will attempt to fill in the spaces by presenting you with terrifying and terrible alternative results. Stay away from what he wants you to look at and don't listen to what he has to say. Other people might flee and hide. It is possible that some people will say that the sky is falling, but reality is that the sky is not falling, rather, the kingdom is coming. The kingdom is coming, and the kingdom is righteousness, peace, and joy. It is your share of the food. Now is the time for the breakthrough. This is the moment of breakthrough. Your blessing is not based on your ability to comprehend what I am doing, rather, it is based on your trust in me doing what I am doing. As the Father says, have faith in me. Put your faith in me, and I will handle everything from here on out. This day, the Father advises that you go in first class all the way. In no way am I a God who takes half measures. With the passage of time, the fact that I am always there in your life indicates that things are becoming better and better in every aspect. I am a God who is whole and who is complete. I am a God who knows everything. I am completing you, and I am filling up every void and every void in your heart and life, both inside and outwardly. I am completing you. It is imperative that you never give yourself permission to view me as someone who does anything other than bless you while you remain in a state of cooperation with me in everything. In the end, when you allow yourself to put your faith in me and surrender your wants and desires to the restraining fire of my refinement process, you will witness the fulfillment of your deepest, most heartfelt aspirations on multiple occasions within a short period of time. Your heart should be set on the goal of always being Christ conscious and having a mentality that is centered on God. Be conscious of the fact that, as in heaven so on earth, is your reward. If there is no poverty in paradise, then it is difficult to understand why you would accept or approve of poverty on earth. In heaven, there is neither deficiency nor heartbreak, therefore, it is inconceivable that you would anticipate anything else than blessings on earth. You must make up your mind that sickness and disease do not exist in the skies, you must also make up your mind that these things do not belong in your life. The price of your liberty, your health, and your independence is paid with the precious blood. Embrace and accept this as your portion, and know that you will not be excluded from my promise in any manner. This is your portion. If you comprehend this, you will be able to comprehend and get a sense of how much I love you, as well as the extent to which I am moving heaven and earth to bring my highest purpose to bear in you and around you on this day. As the Father instructs us today, we should set our expectations for the greatest and the best in everything that is happening around us. Conditions are undergoing shifts. Changes are occurring in your advantage in the circumstances. In your life, it is my nature that is influencing, touching, and transforming every surface and relationship. This is bringing your life into alignment with my blessing and the promise of my word. It is my nature that is on the inside of you. My word is the weapon, the sword that makes doubt and fear obsolete. It is the weapon that skewers doubt. But the shield of faith and the sword of my spirit dispel the falsehoods of hell against you and bring every spirit into captivity to my promise where you are concerned. Fear brings its fiery arrows to burn you down, but the shield of faith and the sword of my spirit make everything right. On the contrary, you will not be let down. 
Despite the fact that it may appear that things are not going to turn out the way I promised, keep an eye on them. A divine reversal will take place in a moment of time to set your heart rejoicing and give you the miracle you've called out for. Look again, darling, look again for in the moment that it looks as though everything is lost, a divine reversal will take place. I would like for you to direct your efforts and your attention not toward what you would like me to do, but rather toward what I am really doing. Those things that cause you to worry and fret will be rendered meaningless if you will simply seek first my kingdom in everything that you do. It is true that the decisions that those with whom you have collaborated in the past have made have had an effect on the way my strategy has been carried out. Son and daughter, you have to comprehend that I am the God who has never planted anything in a row, and I am the God who does not always write in stone, I write in sand. I am the God who does not always put everything in stone. Things and people are always changing, and my plan for your life is always adapting to accommodate these changes. Instead of tying your happiness to a certain outcome, you should have faith that you have a nice daddy God who will take care of you regardless of what other people do or what the circumstances say. It is your obligation to keep things loose and not to anchor your well-being in a particular outcome. Today, the Father tells you that you are being shaped and molded to walk in authority and strength that goes beyond what is possible through human experience. The transformational grace that lifts you from the experience of a fallen human being to that of an entirely new species is something that is inherent in the very act of being born again. Similarly, just as death reigned in your members during the time of Adam, I declare to you that everything is transformed into something new through the work of the cross. The past is the past, and there is no need to worry about the future. As I move you forward along a path of blessing and favor that is beyond anything you could ever fathom, I am holding you tightly in my everlasting arms and moving you forward. Put your faith in me, says God, since I am the one who will give you life. Have faith in what I am doing, since death, disappointment, and downturn are fading away, and joy, righteousness, and peace that surpasses understanding are taking the ascendancy in your present as well as in the days and weeks that are to come. Now, the Father continues, that you must comprehend that there is a component of it that is unknown. Put your faith in who you know and who I am on the inside of you, rather than what you know, and prepare your heart to trust on those things. Is it not true that the devil is in the details, but his position on the throne is not in question? You will not always be able to anticipate the steps that are ahead of you and the bends that are on the route, and it is not necessary to know these things in advance. It is not necessary for you to have all of the knowledge or to know in advance what will happen the following day in order for me to have power and blessings in your life. When you go forth into this new chapter that I have opened for you, every negative influence and circumstance will bow and bend the knee at the mention of my name. This is because you will be exercising faith and having faith in your faith, which includes the faith that I bestowed upon you when I carried you out of the womb. I am releasing to you in full measure every grace, gift, and favor that I am releasing to you as you walk in surrender and yieldedness to my word, my way, and my spirit as I lead you each day into the new thing that is unfolding around you. Your faith is the fail-safe weapon of authority and strength, and you can trust your faith just as you can trust every other grace, gift, and favor that I am releasing to you. According to what the Father has revealed to us today, I have created you to be a creature that is possessed of authority, wealth, and prosperity. You are not destined to be lacking in any way. Your provision does not include a shortfall. I am the God of more than enough, and the measure that I am pouring forth as we establish your future by the fruit of your lips and the promise of my word is more than enough. I am the God of more than enough. Never give in to unbelief or speak out against it. When you are facing the most difficult situation and you believe that everything is gone, 
just stay still and know. You should be aware that I am God, and that I am present within you. Please be aware that I am God, and that everything is in my control. God says that circumstances are moving into a new location and a new promise that is beyond anything you have ever dreamt of, therefore rejoice. Situations are changing and situations are shifting even into dismal circumstances. We should rejoice and have faith because the old is coming to an end and the new has arrived. There have been times in your life when you have experienced my kindness, but there have also been times when you have been disappointed. Note that I did not create you with the intention of letting you down. Your foundation state, the true essence of your life, and my purpose for you are all unrestricted, unrestricted potentials that are flowing out of the nothingness of primordial matter into the manifest substance of everything that you have longed for. Be conscious of the fact that the pain in your heart is the prophecy that governs your life. I have made your heart hurt for precisely that which I am destined to bring into your life. I have caused your heart to ache. It does not mean that you know all the answers or that you have a comprehensive understanding of everything. In addition, it indicates that you can put your faith in me. According to the Father, you should have faith in me and allow me to take care of things from here on out. I am working, and your delight will be complete. 